Rania al Ammar was born in Saudi Arabia and is a Saudi ex journalist. She studied for a while in Iran and the USA, graduating later in journalism, mass communication, and public relations. She worked as a journalist in Beirut for two years until she moved to Germany in 2015 and started to settle down while working as an independent video editor. At the beginning of 2010, following what she defines as a spiritual incident, she became interested in Princess Diana of Wales, who will inspire her first book, Diana, The Abduction Mystery Solved. After five years, Alamar completes her second book, Returning from God to the Goddess, My Dream's Memoir of Princess Diana, recently published in collaboration with Europe Books. Today, we have the great pleasure to meet Rania, who's in connection with us to, to ask and get to know more around her new book. Hi, Rania, thank you very much for accepting our invitation today. Hello, Ginevra, thank you, and I am uh, very much happy to be with you today. So please tell us more about Returning from God to the Goddess. What is it about? Well, actually, as you mentioned in the introduction, that uh, this book is my second book. It's not my first one. Um, it is about Princess Diana, but uh, let me say that it is an explanation or uh, um, explanation of the background why I have written the first book about Diana. Um, as you see uh, from my, um, because I come from a very much different culture and background, it's not usual for uh, for me, for example, to uh, be very much interested on a uh, on a Princess Diana specifically. So when I first uh, wrote my first book, um, everyone was asking me why I have been interested in her. The first book spoke about only the investigative side of the case, and I did not mention why I did the first book. So this second book explains exactly how, she, how she became um, a constant presence in my life, and how um, the case itself had uh, a spiritual effect on me. Um, actually, Princess Diana came uh, um, came to, to my own world uh, specifically in 2010. Uh, in 2010, I started to have uh, very vivid and uh, obvious dreams. Um, very much, um, she was a constant presence in these dreams for more than a decade right now. And I, because of the weirdness and strangeness of this subject, I did not uh, mention it in my first book, and I, I shut myself down. Uh, so I didn't speak about it publicly, uh, except so for uh, maybe some friends, a few friends. And um, yeah, everything you want to know about why I have written the first book, it is in the second book. Um, that's my okay, answer. Okay, we keep waiting yeah. then. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so who's your public target and why should people buy and read your book, in your opinion? Actually, I think everyone who is interested in uh, religion and uh, spirituality, um, in dreams and interpretations, um, for example, also in um, the feminine uh, creative power, uh, the goddess herself can uh, be interested in this book. And uh, for example, uh, how she affected me in um, my own spiritual path to come out of the belief system into a more uh, spiritual path without rejecting religion itself, but taking it more symbolically, instead of taking it so literally as uh, I used to be. I used to be very much devo devoted and um, very much into religion and the details of religion. Uh, so she helped me somehow from this uh, hidden world or hidden realm 
to how to take things more easily and flexibly and with res re re um, resilience, let me say, to, to become more open to life and not so much focused on religion itself. Okay. What was the challenge in writing this book, if there was some? Actually, there are many things, as I, used, uh, as I said before, because of my own, um, <clears throat> my own background. I am always surrounded by uh, people um, who do not accept this subject. Uh, the presence or, uh, of her uh, in my own life was not accepted by all my own surrounding. And especially, I used, as you mentioned, I used to study in Iran. I studied, uh, I used to live in Saudi Arabia. And uh, unfortunately, this environment does not very much accept something that is so drastically different. Um, so um, there is a lot of, a little bit, um, let me say, backlash, um, aggressive backlash. Um, that it's forbidden to speak about the goddess. Uh, there is nothing called goddess. Uh, it's this only uh, God as a masculine concept. Um, but uh, if they open themselves to new realms, to new subjects, actually they will find all the answers um, symbolically in their own uh, religion and in their own environment, and they will be more open to it. Okay, I want to thank you for your words and your introduction around your book, and I want to wish you very good luck with it. Thank you, thank you so much, Ginevra. Thank you for having me. A rich and intense journey through religion, politics, history, spirituality, and inner growth. Returning from God to the goddess is all of this, giving the readers an experience that will enrich and expand their vision. Returning from God to the Goddess, my dreams memoir of Princess Diana is now available in bookstores and digital platforms, a publication by Europe Books.